Welcome everyone to the storytelling images unveiling of 2020. 2020 has been uh, definitely an interesting year uh, to say the least um, and this is one of the bright lights and uh, bright events I think that um, has allowed us to connect with each other and um, in a very very special and unusual way so thank you so much for joining us um, and uh, spending the evening with us. I wanted to um, first of all acknowledge that we are on the lands of the Shemshen people and very honored to be here, to be able to live here and work here. Um, and I also wanted to recognize that we have uh, um, our staff from Spina Diversity. Uh, we have um, uh, Matthew who has helped to organize and, and uh, uh, put this project together and communicate with all the artists and idea. Maybe just you guys can wave your hand. <laughs> and uh, and uh, Matthew is also one of the artists. And idea has helped to communicate um, with uh, many of the storytellers that are new in, in Terrace. And she's our English teacher. So it's been a good connection. So we have actually quite a diversity of, um, of participants. Uh, and then we have Anna Silva, um, who is a settlement worker, resource worker, and uh, just able to help with everything. Uh, and Anna actually managed to figure out the virtual background. So she always has the best background. So this one is the uh, poster for the event. And we also have the Eden with us who is a summer student and she'll be with us for a few months working on anti-racism uh, handbook and projects and um, that reminds me Skina Diversity is actually celebrating 20 years this year and we had so many wow. things planned and then and then uh, things were kind of thrown out the window but we are many different things um, planning and this is definitely the highlight of the year and wave your hands in the in the in the air if you are oh. in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in Terrace right now, three, two, one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and wave your hands vigorously if you are not in Terrace. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. 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 Okay. excellent, excellent. This is the beautiful thing about um, about the online living online, isn't it? Yeah. Living online. But wave your hands if you are this year's artist. What? All right. What? Oh, if go. you're an artist, to artist. Oh, yeah. Just, right on. Okay. And wave your arms vigorously if you are the storyteller. Oh, I'll be the storyteller. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And wave your arms if you are an artist from previous years. <laughs> oh, no, no. All right. right. Storyteller. And a storyteller <laughs> from. I'm a storyteller from previous years. Okay, we definitely have an awesome group of people here with us tonight. Um, thanks again for coming. Uh, so what's going to happen tonight, I will uh, we'll share uh, two videos uh, with you. One of them is the perspective of the artists, and then we'll hear the perspective of the storytellers. And then all the storytellers actually mm -hmm. have received their, their paintings. If you have your painting all wrapped with you, maybe you can ha oh. <laughs> lift it up. <laughs> so all <Nice>. the, <laughs> so they've been really good. They've been really good. good. I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed. Yeah, show the scotch tape. <laughs> <laughs> they open it? They, they received it and said, it's all wrapped and don't open it until we tell you to. <laughs> okay, okay. I got it. So thank right. you. For <laughs> they only received it really today. I really want to open it. I'm so excited. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay, you're saying we are excited, so get on with it. Okay, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. I can wait. No worry. <laughs> uh, 
took part in this storytelling project. This is my third time. And I am extremely passionate with meeting new people, especially ones that move to the community that I fell in love with, Terrace, British Columbia. And I feel this deep connection with the Skeena Diversity Society. So um, with Matthew and Sasha and anyone else that comes along, um, I like to participate and be part of it. I like to meet new people and I like to create something new. So as a Northwest Coast artist, I do, um, I guess, traditional work, but also I like to flare out and do my own thing. And taking part in the storytelling process allows me to create something new that I never thought that I would create and something fun. And it allows me to use my, my artistic license. So I find it kind of difficult to paint um for no one like i really like to give the uh, give art as gifts so if i have somebody in mind it makes it a lot easier because it's more personal it's not uh just like a generic thing so getting the chance to get to know somebody and then try and paint something that is specific to them or particular for them it's like right down my alley I really enjoy hearing people's history and 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 how learning just I guess finding out how vibrant everybody's paths are and you get to express it in art. Uh, I was very comfortable. Um, I didn't necessarily know how to always begin but uh, it was it was wonderful because um, I think it was new for for all of us um, as it is in the beginning and so it allowed it allowed us to get to know each other better and um, um, so with each um, which with each person um, we got to know each other better through the storytelling project and and you know, ask questions with each other and just have the opportunity to sit back and, and share openly. Um, so yeah, it um, became quite, um, it became easier and more comfortable as we went along. I felt really comfortable talking with, uh, with my storyteller, for sure. Yeah, thank you for asking. Um, yeah, it was, uh, we did a did a phone interview and I jotted down some notes and uh, the idea for the painting came to me pretty quick. I, um, I had an interesting time connecting because I was new to the whole online face-on-face -face connection, even with Zoom, right? It's, it's a different, different atmosphere than sitting in front of someone and having a coffee date, but um, I felt like she was a very lovely person and I felt um, like I really enjoyed similar things that she does about living here in the Northwest. So even though she's not from here and used to this kind of community or the big space of the luscious green and the bears and everything else we have around us, um, I felt like everything that she loved was stuff that I loved as well. So we had that in common. So I feel like having that um, connection with someone that enjoys nature as much as you do is um yeah definitely a blessing i listen for well when i wanted to paint the painting i knew what i was going to do anyway and what i really wanted from them was their favorite place so i can add that into there and you'll see it when the time is the time is right well first i want to i don't want to hear i don't want to hear from when they were born i kind of just let them start where they want to start in life and and they just carry the flow of it and they take me places and when i when i hit them um, they hit a spot in their life where i'm just like hey, can you explain more and like that it kind of goes more into depth in a certain area so i kind of make note of that because that's how I find key components to express an art. Wow. Well, um, 
it was I think for me it was different with each person um, because of course you know um, you, you, when you don't have a script to follow um, you in listening um, you might need cues you you pick up cues uh, to to encourage more conversation about a particular topic that you might think that would lead them into something they they may want to um, divulge more information about if it's comfortable for them so for me i found it um, exciting and interesting to to um, seek ways into allowing them to share more um, and but share more about what they wanted to share about so for example with one person um, you know they were saying that oh boy I don't even know what to share about you know so it was like well just let's just start you know start here like uh, you know what's important to you and and what have you been working on lately and uh, you know um, things like that so then from their story comes and so uh, it was beautiful and fascinating how how when one begins to speak and share stories come So I think we we got along pretty good. Um, both of them are from other countries. I'm from a different country. Granted, I'm just from America, so it's a little more similar to Canada than where they're from. But still, uh, we were able to sort of connect over like missing our family, not being able to hang out with our friends, and being in a totally different environment. So that was pretty cool. Really good match. I feel like. Um... You, maybe you strategically placed me with her, I'm not too sure, but I think that it was a very nice, friendly conversation, and I hope that um, she enjoyed it as much as I did. Absolutely. Um, that's the most precious thing, I think, um, that's happened. That um, you, can't, you can't put words to that, that, that you begin to build a relationship almost immediately because you're sharing you're sharing sometimes you're sharing intimate details where they, they you would never know would come up um and it you know you share stories and and about things that they may never have thought of for a long time and yourself too you know because you're sharing with each other um in that process so uh, and making both of you know you're both making each other feel as comfortable as possible so it's a share um even though you might be the artist or vice versa um you're being present for each other listening and receiving and giving so uh, whether it's a listening uh, process or sharing process you're, you're both there together in it so uh, absolutely um relationships have formed for me at least and I believe that to be so with the other person, yeah, and I, and I believe that that will continue. Absolutely. Every time I do it, I just, it just amazes me how beautiful people are and how everybody's life has been just, it's just, it's just full. And a lot of people forget like what's happened in the past and they, and, and, and when they talk about it, they come to life again, they, they, they just, they relive it. It's great. It's an amazing feeling. Um, my name is Simone Klein. I'm a local artist. I am um, my hometown. I grew up here. <laughs> my name is Amanda Hugon and I live here in Terrace, but I am of the Stalo Nation, Shiam, Kwikwetlam, and Mishif. Um, so Mishif is from Duck Lake, Saskatchewan, and Shiam and Kwikwetlam are Coast Salish. But I have lived here in Terrace since 1993. Halloween, actually, I moved here, so that's me. My name is Ollie, I'm 26. I've always liked art. I really like painting. I like playing video games. My name is Matthew. I'm from Saskatchewan. I moved here in 2007 and uh, started working at Ski University since 2010. My name is uh, Adia. 
and um, this is my first time doing the storytelling artist project. Uh, my name is Allison, and uh, let's see, I've been, I'm a novice painter, I've been painting for a few years, and uh, this is my second time participating in the storytelling images uh, project, and uh, it's always a lot of fun. Thank you for allowing me this opportunity. Yeah, those sons are our artists. Thank you so much. That was great. Mm -hmm. Good job, everyone. Yeah. Yes. <laughs>
nice artist. I was uncomfortable the night before because I did have a little moment of panic thinking, I'm not sure that I have a story and I'm thinking, you know, once upon a time and then a middle and then a, a, a nice conclusion. And so someone very wisely said, just talk about something you're interested in. And so because I was into this genealogy project with my family, I took out some props, let's say, because I thought she's an artist, she'll want something visual. So I had all these letters and documents from my ancestors, I had them out on the table. And so the minute she walked in, um, I was comfortable because I didn't know her, but just zooming in on something like that, our conversation went in all sorts of directions it's never been in before. So, so it was quite, quite interesting, yeah. And to see her reaction to what I was doing and what, you know, what I was talking about was, as, was quite interesting. Was Well, I'm not sure, but I think it should be a lot of fun. I think it, hers will be much, it will be, I think it'll be a lot of fun. She seems like a very um, energetic person, and I know I am, so I'm pretty sure something that's going to come out of this is going to be uh, pretty nifty. Expecting probably a lot of blue colors and probably maybe even the orange sunset colors. Because that's what I'm, I do, like waterfalls in the ocean, and I really do want to go to the Caribbean and see the oceans and stuff there. Nice. So I'm expecting to see a lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> ah, she is a nice person, like their feeling. So maybe green and because I think green, that color is feels so warm and yeah, so kindly. <laughs> yeah. When or yes, it's avocado color. <laughs> that green, yeah. Very <laughs> special connections. As long as he knows and tries to understand my life, my story, and and describe it, it's he's not a just a um, regular artist. He's a um, artist and an, an artist with a soul. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't have that soul, he couldn't accept this proposal. Like um, we knew each other uh, from the college, like so it's like very student and kind of the management kind of friends. Mm -hmm. And like uh, we knew like little bit uh, each other about their personal life, right? But uh, from this project, um, we know more. We knew. Uh, we learned a lot more about each other. Like we talked for like two hours, I'm guessing on the phone. Mm -hmm. We couldn't meet meet actually mm -hmm. on the live, but we talked two hours and we talked like, I think we talked half an hour about the, this project, mm -hmm. but the rest of the time we were just talking, how you doing, mm -hmm. like how she's doing and like what's going on in their life. Mm -hmm. So I think we get, because of this project, we get to know more about our personal life and mm -hmm. like it brings the bond together. Yeah, yeah. So with, with her, you mean with, with the, the artist, artist. Yes, yeah. because and it was um, an exchange. I don't know if I can talk about the, the project that I was doing. Yeah, because it was family tree and genealogy and this kind of thing. She shared, you know, her interest in, in that area. And so I was able to sort of, you know, share with her some ideas. And in return, uh, and I'm not sure how that came about, we sort of talked about um, the whole process of writing and writing memoirs kind of thing. So she shared websites with me so we we got we sort of went beyond what we were talking about to other things and I, I know we'll come back to those again so I do feel um I got to know her in a different way and I think her with me as well so mm -hmm. we will we will pursue it I'm sure I think so you know I mean you'd have to ask I guess Adya too what she thought you know but uh certainly felt like um we were having an engaging conversation at the time so yeah, I thought it was good, mm -hmm. you know. I don't know what it means in terms of what will be the outcome of the conversation or her creation, but that's more for her in some ways, you know. Um, so I, it's in many ways like an experience of yourself through the eyes of somebody else in their perceptions and experience mm -hmm. of a moment in time. Not so much is that you you know it's it was you at that moment in terms of how they perceived it so it'd be 
It's as much a revelation of her own thinking as it is some more sort of representation of me. I have a dream in Canada, Canada right? And Matthew understand about that. Matthew understand, although I cannot speak English very well, Matthew understand my dream and my story, right? And he got some smile, right? Mm -hmm. I, I think that at the time, Matthew and I make a good relationship and connection, right, at the mm -hmm. time. So, right, mm -hmm. I have a dream in Canada, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> In La Cook, I have three children. I live in Terras, Canada. I like Canada. I like you. <laughs> Sylvia Hart. I'm from Red Raven Art Gallery. I do uh, photography, mm -hmm. and uh, I also do some of the marketing here for Red Raven. Um, I've been with Red Raven for about seven, eight years now. We have about 70 different artists in here and I love working with artists. So working with Simone for the storytelling was amazing. She is lovely. I'm Mandy, my name is Mandy. And I have been in Terrace for six months with my husband. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm 28 or <laughs> and before I was in China for a long time, maybe four or five years, uh, to for do my master degree, and then in there I met my husband, and and then we go to other city and other country, and we decide to come to Canada. My name is Sterling Trotsky. I'm born and raised in Prince Rupert, BC, and I moved to Terrace about two years ago now. My name is Suresh, and I moved to Terrace two years ago as a student, and I just recently graduated from Coast Mountain College. Uh, <laughs> my name is Estelle Mitchell, and uh, I've been involved with Skin Adversity for quite a few years, but never in this particular kind of project, so this is all new to me. Uh, my name is uh, Mount Academy. Uh, I'm from Tunisia. Uh, I came here since two years, three months, about. Um, I work as a chef kitchen. And uh, I live now in Terras. Um, okay, yeah. my name is Cecilia Kim. And I'm Ma Michael Liu. Yeah. yeah. And we are from South Korea. We came here. Um, in the year 2018, May 8th, May 10th, May, May 8th, 8th in Vancouver yeah. and May 10th here in Taras. Mm. So it's on um, two years and three months. My name is Brahim and uh, I'm from Morocco. I am uh, 29 years old. Uh, I came to Taras, it's about uh, seven months ago. I'm working here, I'm uh, a cook at Mr. Makes. My name is Edward Allen. My Niska name is Gadela, which means anchor. Um, I live here in Terrace and uh, happy to be here. All right. What amazing storytellers. Yeah. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautifully done. Yeah. Everybody just had such amazing things to say. You have done well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. So now, <laughs> now is the moment. Now is the time. So you can, um, if you're a storyteller, you can unmute yourself 
and find your uh, paintings and you can unwrap them. <laughs> it's like Christmas. <laughs> very, very slowly. <laughs> or finally. you can do it really noisily. <laughs> Here I was muting it so it'd be so noisy. <laughs> oh, 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 oh favorite God. color. <laughs> I think it was wow. <laughs> we, oh, 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 good, you got the oh, cube. Wow. Oh, I don't. Amazing. I love it. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, look at that one. Sweet. Uh, so, we are. so don't you worry, yeah. everybody who is watching and even the storytellers. <laughs> She got well, the coolest one. Yeah, we do have a video that will show you all the art. Wow. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even think I told her my favorite color was turquoise. Look at that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and then after we do that, it's only about two minutes. And after we do that, then um, maybe if, you, if the artists and storytellers want to come and share um, what you think and... Uh, how you yeah. unwrapped it yeah yeah what 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 sort of the first impressions questions what are you looking at and i'm so excited to see mandy's uh painting is all green <laughs> <laughs> we'll be happy Beautiful. to know that it's green <laughs> <laughs> okay so let's just show everybody uh, how how it looks like okay Oh my. oh my god. Oh, oh, it's me. Oh, you did it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow. it's beautiful. Oh my. Beautiful. Oh. Beautiful. Oh. Oh. Gorgeous. Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh, that's sweet. So oh, different. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh. Wow. It's beautiful, oh. isn't it? Mm. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, wow. I love it. Mm. 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 Oh, that's your story. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Gorgeous. Wow. Water. <laughs> water. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Cool. Mm. Cool. Wonderful. I love that one. Yeah. Sylvia. <laughs> Sweet. Lovely. Oh, oh, beautiful. Nice. Mm. nice. Oh. Oh, nice. Book by Ali. Cool. Wow. Mm. Very, very cool. Very cool. Wow. Wow. Uh, oh. Uh, yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh. Hey, quite an amazing work. Yay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you very much. And there is one more is artist very... that yeah. is coming. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Very emotional. Mm -hmm. It's a very special and beautiful moment of my life. <laughs> Oh, oh, nice. And this painting, I'm in, I am not going to throw, I mean, this painting is going to, with me forever, throughout my entire life. That means oh. 
the connection between me and my artist Matthew is never ending connection. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I am going to remember him as my artist, my lifetime artist forever. And then really I cannot forget this moment. Thank you so mm. much. This is mine. And then it's more valuable than any of the paintings in the famous museum like Louvre or mm -hmm. Metropolitan, any of the paintings from Van Gogh or any of the like Michelangelo. <laughs> it's more important and more valuable for me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that's, uh, that's very special. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah, I think those those paintings are just so um, so personal. I would like to share. I don't know if you can you hear me? And who is I can hear you. Can you wave? Oh Sylvia, okay. Okay. Without a doubt, you have captured absolutely everything that I said to I can't believe it. From my very <laughs> photograph that I sold to my family to pictures of terrace. Oh my gosh, yeah. Simone, I, I'm just over the moon. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> it's amazing. You did a great job. It's beautiful. Aww. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. Oh, I just love it. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> Thank you. Very vibrant, like you are. <laughs> wow. Oh, phew. It's good. You really caught me. You really got me. <laughs> well, I could have filled that whole canvas, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> but I had to really just like pick out what you really, your heart kept talking about. So I was just like. Mm. Oh, yep. you did. You did. <laughs> ah, you really, really did. It's going to go up here at the gallery. Oh, <laughs> Thank you so much, Simone. I am oh, it's such a wonderful time spending time with you and learning about you as well. I have wanted to meet you forever. So this <laughs> oh. Thank Anytime. You so Anytime. Sasha. Thank you, Sasha, for putting this on. Oh, <laughs> well, um, yeah, we, you know, we had an idea and uh, people responded and, you know, I just realized looking at the painting that Simone did that the center is a, is a photographer's lens. Yes. Oh, yeah. a photographer um, and so many things. So yeah, definitely. There's just so much in there to look at. Absolutely. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, it's just yeah. wonderful. Wow. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Thank you, Simone. So I was all over the place, right? For two hours we talked. And so I'm seeing bits about um, Millardville where I'm fun. And I just read, because I'm looking, why is there a train? I'm looking at Honeymoon Train. And that's, of course, what I told her about the beginning of Millardville when they uh, went and got 200 couples from back east, young couples, to come to BC and establish this community. Um, record keepers, which I definitely feel... <laughs> Excuse me for a second. <laughs> <laughs> so, idea. What did you listen for? Like Estelle was saying, there was there was a tremendous amount of um, story and detail um, for Estelle's uh, encounter with her, and it was beautiful. And so, I, I felt like I could have had an ever-ending canvas with her, and and so I tried to to choose some of the things that were important to her actually and then carry it into what's important to her now and so um at the end of it all i i really actually I really wanted to tell her about what's in the center of her being there in her picture oh. because <laughs> your back is still right yes good she's there hon Okay, so Estelle, um, I was just saying that, that you're right, there was, there was so many things that we, that we adventured into in the story. Um, and even I, f I found out about the honeymoon train, so I threw that train in there. But, yeah. <laughs> but the, the most exciting thing that I, I found was, you know, like you were saying towards the end of our conversation, I found this adventurer uh, traveler, and I know you love to travel. So the person who's in the middle of your whole being there 
really uh, sparked me and reminded me of you and of you and your whole being and body and person and mind and everything as a traveler, as an adventurer, as an amazing woman who sets out, uh, you know, to, to be all that you can be. And, and her name is uh, uh, Jean Benet. I don't know if I'm saying that's right, but she's from France and she's an adventurer and she's a, she's a go get woman. And she's like really um, uh, bright and, you know, she's, she's scholarly and she's everything that a woman to be in those ages, you know, and, and beyond. And so that's the way I pictured you throughout your whole storytelling that, that you bring that into, into now. And so that's, uh, I was excited to, to really find that piece within you. So, yeah. Very cool. And the color too, the color really came vivid. Oh, that's, 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 that's my color. I even get teased about it, right? Half my wardrobe <laughs> is turquoise, the other half's green. <laughs> yeah, I know it didn't even come up, but it did for me. It really, it really flowed right into, to, to our, our gathering. So. And even, even, uh, did I mention that I love puzzles? Cause I like the way you've got puzzle pieces uh -huh. here. Right. <laughs> yes. I'm in, yes. I'm intrigued by this one. So I don't know if you can tell which I'm pointing yes. to, but anyway, we can talk more about it, but you've got some interesting symbol there that. Uh... Yes, yes, yep, that was uh, that was the last puzzle piece that I worked on and it, and it kind of, I wanted it to kind of stick out, but it it actually is an, it, it's kind of became an error and, um, <laughs> and in many um, wonderful wise pieces of, of art, um, it's always good to, to allow yourself to, to have a place of, being humble and and i find that you are like that too and and also but it's pure too so mm -hmm. there's an ohm symbol in there that allows you to have peace and and calm and serenity but also to have that 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 peace where you where it's it's okay you know all is all is well all yeah. is well i love it it's also <laughs> going to be hanging up in a special place i'll start thinking about that tonight <laughs> oh thank you that's beautiful yeah, I love it. And yeah, well, we Sarah. have you there. Did you want to share um, about Cam? Some? Sure, she wants um, to. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't get a chance to hear from Cam but because she was uh, she had lots of things happening. Um, but I'm so glad that she was able to join us. So let me um, let me just see if I can pull out um, her you? artwork. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, Nadia. It's awesome. It's a, it's a, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm honored to have you, and uh, this is a, it's a masterpiece for all, all my life. And then, uh, yeah, I, I wish I were there one, one day. Yeah, I'm still looking for myself, and then, yeah, I will, I will get it one day. Thanks a lot. Thank you. You're it's beautiful. Too. Very welcome. I, 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 I actually uh, was seeing you when I when we had our gathering, Cam. I actually saw in this this piece uh, for you was that that you already are very very resourceful, and that this piece represented a trans transformation experience that you are going through and have been going through. And that that your journey is a life journey, and that's kind of kind of what we were we were talking about, and 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 that um, you know you actually have reached many destinations, and that, <laughs> that the warm color, you know, the color of the orange and yeah, the yellow, love it. That, yeah, that those are those are like um, embracing embracing you. The warm colors are embracing you to to continue on that you. It's a, like, um, they're your resource, you know, you have a tremendous amount of resource. And of course, mm -hmm. you were telling me about the camel and, and I had to, I had to put that in for you because <laughs> yes, the, the camel, the camel yeah. is very, very actually a really good symbol for you because it's very resourceful and it has a lot of stamina and that's very much like you, you know, mm -hmm. um, you're very uh, prepared, you have a lot of stam stamina, you're self-sufficient. Yeah, but you're also, you're very, you love people and you love to serve. In this picture, you're, you're helping to serve yourself by seeking what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's endless. It's open to you. The sky is open to you, basically, is what it's saying. And there's, 
you know, there's really no barriers because it, it's, you know, open. That's it. Everything is open. There's, there's vastness for you and strong, reliable, committed, you, you know, you can adapt to anything and that's partially what the camel's about also. You're mm -hmm. fearless. Those are all the things because those are small. They're not mountains. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's, um, you know, and, and it's, you know, you're going through a constant change and they're, they're, they're able to be moved. You know, that wonderful song that we can move mountains. I think it's Diana Ross kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And even through, you know, through life, you're fearless that you can go through constant change all kinds of movement and sudden losses or whatever, and you're still dedicated and, mm -hmm. and you can find some balance and you can still find, mm -hmm. you know, a place where you can, you know, have that, that quiet time to bring yourself through everything and move back mm -hmm. into what you need to do. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's Thank what you. I got from our meeting. Amazing mm -hmm. woman. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey. Yes, hey. Sterling. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm trying to look around. <laughs> Using so, precious phone, <laughs> yeah. I'm going so. to pull up your picture. So I just want to give like a huge shout out to Matthew. You done an amazing job. Is better than what I expected, and I love how you basically make me look like Pocahontas. <laughs> <laughs> Pocahontas, right there. I love that. <laughs> My family would love it as soon as they come over and see it. So it's really good. I love it. The trees remind me of back home of Prince Rupert because we have a lot of trees and the ocean pretty much looks exactly like that. <laughs> so good job, Matthew. Thank you. Already already got it up on the wall here. Nice. Perfect. Next to a picture of Suresh that someone drew from. Even though <laughs> Suresh is not done yet. Yeah, he is. There is a temporary one. Mm -hmm. so, I love that. <laughs> Just love that. Anything you wanted to add, Matthew? What you were, what you, what you heard from Sterling's story? Uh, just to be honest with every every artist or every storyteller I gave to over the years, I've always done uh, landscapes and everything else. This year, I want to come at a different angle and give them a portrait of themselves because the story is more than the words; it shows in their face. And over time, they will change, but the photo will still stay the same. There's so much in wrinkles. There's so much in eyes. There's so much in lips. And what I could capture was within themselves. And that's the best way I could tell this story this year. Mm -hmm. That's good. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> that's so beautiful. It is. It is. It's really good. Yeah, it's it's really interesting also having artists that return and that. and change their style so each year the style is a little different hey, amanda did i hear you do you want to share your <laughs> yeah, um here about okay the amanda and and mandy were paired up together oh nice that was nice mm. uh, it was really nice and i really love it and I think I can always smile whenever I am um, with this picture, uh, with this art. And yes, I'm so thank you to my artist. This amazing art give me. Thank you. Thank you. Well, um, I guess I can say I'm really happy and excited that you like it, you love it. Um, I'm very happy that I captured the green that she talked about. I got really nervous mm -hmm. about what she might, um, or what she was expecting. And I really wanted to capture something for, she has moved around. This is like, since moving to Canada, um, I wasn't sure if her plan was to stay in Canada or stay here, but she did talk about the luscious green trees and the beauty and the space. And I felt like when you look up at the sun or even the moon and you see all the trees around you, there's a sense of home and a sense of humbling and that peace. And I felt like even if she moves away and doesn't live in Terrace forever or move somewhere else in Canada or move somewhere else around the world, she can still look at the sun or the moon and feel that sense of home. 
So that was kind of what I was interpreting. And I also felt the, the happiness within her and that smile and that, just that, I guess, ray of sunshine, if you want to say that. So I felt um, putting all of those together and then with the green color, um, it would give, say, even a reminder, a sense of being here and then me being the artist, um, I just wanted to interpret that in a, a fun and interesting style to share and hopefully she brings that with her. Wow, that's beautiful. So beautiful, so awesome. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah, I, um, I only just met uh, Mandy uh, more when I was interviewing her and um, I was just so happy when I saw your painting because I felt that really fit it was a perfect perfect fit and and uh, I'm sure there was a divine power why why we connected the two of you <laughs> mm. yes. well and like, like I've even said in the interview I just felt like it was a really good match I felt um, I guess that connection through the happiness so I think that was really mm really really nice and thank you so much for letting me have this opportunity to again be part of this project because i really do enjoy it yeah no thank you um there is a piece. question beautiful piece yeah amanda there's a question here in the chat box asking if the green represents a grounding as well um i'd like to i guess just one second I guess I, I can't see the chat, but um, yeah, I think that the green, like it is kind of bizarre to have say even the green as part of the sky. And actually when I did paint it, um, just remembering and asking her questions on what she wanted to see in her favorite colors um, and green did, did come up in conversation. So um, even though it is a sky and normally it would be blue, um, yeah, I feel like it is, I guess, like that sense of grounding, the sense of, of the connection from the ground to the sky and just the whole being of, of being in nature and enjoying that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Almost there. All right. There, there we go. Uh, first of all, I really would like to thanks everybody and thanks everyone who giving a hand for this amazing reading story. And uh, I would like to thanks the Naito, everyone to tell him that you are so talented and uh, you are amazing. And really, I never seen nobody like you. You are, you are a real artist. And also I really would like to to thank the Skina diversity team about everything. Really you are doing great. And uh, really I like my my painting. It's amazing. I really like it and I'm going to keep it forever. And really I need to find a place here to go it to to see it every day. And uh, really, it's so hard. Uh, really, we can't imagine our life without art. And uh, the art color is uh, our world. And uh, really, for me, the art uh, really is, the art is, is inspired me. Yeah, really, I like it. Thank you very much. Thank you. OK, bless you. Are you here? Is there? OK. Yeah, yeah, I'm still yeah. here. You're, you're very much welcome, and I'm pleased to have met you as well. Yeah, yeah, me too. Really, you helped me a lot. I still remember you are the first guy I met him when I came to Skin University. I really don't know how is my life be here without you. Really, you helped me a lot. Thank you very much for everything. You're, you're very welcome. Thank you're you. Welcome. Thank you, Matthew. Yeah. Great job. Okay, so we'll have, we'll start with uh, Mabruk and Oli. Oh. What was in your mind when, uh, what were you listening for? Um, so I was just, I just asked pretty much as many questions as I could think of. Um, 
what sort of things he likes. Like I said, um, he's from another country. I'm from another country. So we've kind of chatted about that quite a bit. Um, he said that he really likes, you know, the scenery and, and the trees and the mountains and, you know, Canada is obviously very beautiful, but that it's very different from where he's from and he still, you know, loves that and misses that. So basically what I was going for was trying to make the outside look more like the traditional buildings from um, his country, which they're like stucco or adobe and they're very like plain, but kind of like... Um, with these little details all over them but then make it so it's almost like a doorway and then on the inside is like scenery from BC so that he can he can kind of uh, appreciate the differences in in both places but you know not think that one is greater than the other. Wow that is so cool Thanks. combining the two worlds together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Mabrook, if you want to talk, uh, you will need to unmute. Okay. Okay, now we, oh, one more. <laughs> there. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. Can you, okay, I will express my, <laughs> uh, I will to thank, thank, uh, Oli about this picture. Uh, is uh, she's for me this picture she express uh, uh, how I feel this that it is very beautiful and uh, the sun the river uh, and the nature is she's express uh, my love for her life uh, uh, of I hope as for the rocks uh, she's uh, for me express the expresses the, the difficult in my life uh, and uh, I will uh, to thank you, to thank you again, uh, Oli. It's a very good uh, 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 job, and uh, thank you very much. Oh, wow, that's awesome! I'm glad you like it. Yeah, thank you. Oh, it's beautiful. Thanks. Very good. Mm hmm. Yes, it's a gorgeous picture. I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I like the wall behind you, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, hey? That's Matthew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All this in the DPCP people. <laughs> okay, so now Simone and Sylvia are back. Yeah, sorry, I didn't, didn't give uh, enough time. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, oh. I love it. Thank you, Simone. Oh, you're welcome, Sylvia. It was, um, it was, you know, when we shared and you're, and you just opened up about your life and, and it was, um, man, I had so many things written down. <laughs> um, wow. But I just, I don't know if you, I'm not sure if you can tell, but you see above family. Mm -hmm. So, um, those are, they're, they're stars and they're snowflakes from Switzerland. I kind of did a little bit of research on traditional <laughs> styling. Not perfect, but um, that's the Travolta family for you. Oh, nice. <laughs> I wanted to share that with you. And then your three. Give me one yeah, second. Very first um, picture. What's that, the sorry? You've got the very first picture that I sold professionally was the one in Louisville, Kentucky. Yes. Up here on the, yes. Oh, you've just captured everything so well, Simone. <laughs> well, you, your heart, you can tell how much you loved it. It's no, in no ways did I ever <laughs> render it like you could, but I'm glad you recognized it. <laughs> oh yeah. Everything you've done, I recognize. Yeah, absolutely. On the, the bottom corner there, um, that symbol of the blue and the green, that is uh, the Vancouver, the Vancouver symbol. What? I'm not sure if you knew that. It's, uh, it was nope. new to me. I had no idea. And then I was just like, that's amazing because that was such a big part of your life. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's wonderful. It's, it's, I, I, can't, I can't even explain to you how much you captured so many parts of my life. We only spoke two hours. And I look at <laughs> and it's like, You've just got all of it. It's just amazing. Well, 
I love oh. it. Great, great. I'm glad. Um, each of those those pictures of the eagle, the the bridge, the mountains, everything. Those are your images, by the way. <laughs> oh. Everything. Yes, I noticed the little terrace symbol from the downtown. Yep, all yep. that is you. Pictures. You're such a beautiful photographer. I just, oh, just love your artwork. You're you're just amazing. So. I almost panicked. I'm like, how am I going to express that? <laughs> oh, I, it just takes my breath away, Simone. I, it really does. I mean, I, I, I knew I was going to like it, but I didn't know I was going to like it this much. I am okay. just love what you've done. You've just captured everything I said to you in two hours. And wow, <laughs> wonderful. Thank you so much. You really You're listen. You're very welcome. Yes. yes. <laughs> Surprisingly. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I'm very glad. And, and I'm just, I'm glad it all came together. And uh, I almost panicked a bit. I showed it to my husband and he's like, oh, is that the world in the middle? And I was like, oh, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of panic there. <laughs> but um, I'm glad that you can tell it's the camera because I wanted it to, I wanted it to feel like it was through your eyes. Yes, you did. You absolutely so. did. Out of doubt. I am so over the moon. I'm glad. I'm glad. I love doing this. This is why I love storytelling. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Uh, yeah. And Sylvia, I think you mentioned that you're going to hang it um, in the store, right? Absolutely. So, so everybody, yeah. everybody can, uh, can actually, it's one public place that <laughs> more or less public place that you can come at, because I see there's just so much detail. So every oh, yeah. time uh, when Sylvia is in, stop at Red oh. Raven and have a long conversation about all her life and the pieces that are in Simone's painting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're going to be staying for about two or three hours. <laughs> vibrant, vibrant life. <laughs> Bring a sandwich. <laughs> or better yet, coffee for both. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm Thank glad, you. hey, Simone, you can tell. I, I figured out that it was a, a lens. <laughs> <laughs> Samira just shared here in the chat that only uh, thank you so much. I very like it and good job. So she's very grateful and she love it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know if Samira can talk, but I could talk about her painting a little bit. Sure, that would be great. So I, I chatted with both of my storytellers at the same time. Um, they're both friends um, from similar countries. And like I said, I, I really wanted them to sort of be reminded of home, but also of the things, um, you know, that they like that are around them. And um, something that was super important to Samira was her family. Um, she has three kids back at home of varying ages. Um, and she just, she misses them and um, she told me a lot about them. And so I wanted to show like a mom holding her three little babies. And um, also she's from Morocco, which really the only thing I knew about it going into it was it's a very colorful country and a lot of their artwork is super colorful and like very abstract, but with patterns. So I really wanted to sort mm -hmm. of include that um so i did did my best and then the i don't know if you can really see it in the picture but in the middle there um in the kids i did a little research and it's the arabic word for family so that she can remember that her family is always with her even if she's very far away right now <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, very nice so, so important wow yeah. you captured that beautifully and and all that research yeah <laughs> beautiful thank you okay. wow that's really beautiful oh i cannot believe how well um, you know it's um it's always uh, every year it's different and every year is amazing um every year I, yeah yeah <laughs> No, that's great. But we'll open it up. Um, if anybody has questions and wants to ask anything or comment, um, uh, how did it feel um, 
being, um, you know, participating in this format? Oh, I loved it. I would love to do it again. I mean, that was, that was just wonderful. Just meeting somebody else and spending two hours connecting with someone. And you're right, someone mentioned earlier, um, you start talking about stories and things in your life that you've forgotten, but all of a sudden you start talking about them and you, and it brings things back to life, you know? It's just, um, wow. Simona, I can't even tell you how much I love this. I love it so much. <laughs> so great. I had a great life. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> and then uh, still more to come. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's exactly. Mm. Hi, Sasha. Um, I just want to thank everyone for everything. I enjoyed watching and listening and uh, seeing everything. Um, I threw a few questions on the board, and I would probably ask a few more if it was in person, but uh, I enjoyed it immensely, so thank you. Thank you so much, Daniel, for joining us. And, you know, this is new for all of us, uh, especially um, uh, working with a large number of people and um, so, yeah, thank you, everybody who helped uh, with this as well. And as I said, we still have time. So if anybody would like to ask any questions or comment, uh, please do. And also, too, um, you know, for we're already thinking of next year. Uh, if you would like to be a storyteller or an artist, um, let us know. Sasha, I would just like to commend you on the job that you and your staff have done on this uh, storytelling, which is normally done in the back room with all of us together, um, maybe with a little uh, coffee and some little desserts and things, chit-chatting away. Um, and in this difficult time, I think you've done an absolutely amazing job of uh, continuing it on under very difficult circumstances. So very well done, all of, all of you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Glad we didn't yeah. miss it. You're here. <laughs> it would have been it would have been a shame to miss this. It's very special. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you can record it so many other people can watch it is special also. Mm -hmm. They were yeah. wonderful. Thanks, Lorna. I, you know, as uh, you you have been a storyteller in the past, and uh, and I remember the evening we had lot we had a long conversation about uh, uh, different things and. And that, you know, definitely, definitely miss that part. Um, yeah. But what's, what I found was really amazing. I love the interviews. Um, Matthew interviewed all the artists and mm -hmm. uh, Anna and I, we interviewed storytellers. And, um, mm -hmm. and I think that putting that together and keeping it as a, as a keepsake of capturing the thoughts mm -hmm. and, and how people, mm -hmm. that's very special. Yes, yes, very much, very much. Oh, great oh um, uh, question here. Um, uh, Daniel was posting, um, uh, maybe moving to um, poems and, and lyrics. So that would be also other, other forms of artistic expression um, mm. would, be, would be very interesting. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Not limericks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, no, thanks. And, and a comment from Rebecca, who also has been an artist um, two times um, with amazing, amazing, um, uh, always very, very comprehensive, uh, beautiful art. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's like, as, as not an artist, <laughs> I'm always blown away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did yeah. anybody feel when you were opening, like, hmm, is this really me, you know, kind of thing? Uh, sometimes <laughs> we sort of grow into it uh, sometimes, too. Yeah. Wow. You know, um, it's me. And then when I just opened it, um, I, I just look at it and then I feel like it's not, it's not just a painting. It's Cecilia in the picture is alive. Because it has all my, it's it's just me. Cecilia is here, and then I feel like um, how I feel in the picture it shows um, exactly me, like um, how I embrace my reality and um, how I expect my future, and then also the green on the background. I remember that he asked me my favorite 
my favorite place in Taras, and then I told him, I answered him, Fairy Island. <laughs> and then he here shows Fairy Island. <laughs> so maybe 10 years later, 20 years later, 20 years later, maybe when I see this picture, I am going to remember Taras all the time with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. It's so just like, important. Thank you. Yeah. You said it's sharing, but for me, I feel it's not just a sharing. It's like um, I'm a receiver, and then you are the givers. <laughs> mm. yeah. Beautiful. It's uh, yeah. I cannot say it. It is just a sharing. I just receive too much, mm. and I ask myself, can I deserve this, this love? I mean. These things can I deserve? I ask myself. We never forget it, right? But this, but this very emotion, emotional situation, very yeah. emotional picture, yeah. right? Does he feel yeah. like it's very yeah. emotional, right? Thank you for this great love. Uh, I appreciate it, right? Thank you. You're welcome. It's very nice. Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> How come you can describe me so well? <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> that's, a, that's a secret. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah, I just wanted to add, uh, uh, Cecilia and, and Michael, you completely deserve it. Yes. Yes. Here, here. Thank you. Yeah. It's so nice, Sasha. I'm just looking at the screen right now and look at all these bright, beautiful faces from all over the world. And in this moment in time, here we are in Terra, little old Terrace, BC. It's just stunning where we've all come from and why we're here. And there's a saying, we meet people for a moment or a season or a lifetime. Yeah. Isn't that a beautiful saying? And so mm -hmm. in this sacred moment of these two hours, we've touched each other lives and that can last for a lifetime. Just beautiful. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. Thank you. That's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely, Adia. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's why Canada are amazing. You can meet all the people all, all around the world. Yeah, yeah. And Skeena Diversity is amazing for that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> connecting, connecting people. I think this is just the epitome of, of just people connecting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Story and art. It's amazing. I think it should be done twice a year. No. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> In another format, we've got to do this again. How do we connect people like this? Yes. I have a good idea. We could do cartoon characters next time. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> it would be fun with, with a limerick at the bottom. <laughs> you, you know, maybe maybe Lorna now the non-artist will. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the life of the artist. Yeah, right, the little artist. artist. <laughs> Stick figures. Trying to be so quick. does that mean that we'll get a picture of us then? The oh. yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't know if you Very would like scary. it. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that remind you of a title portrait of an artist? <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> exactly. Done oh, by a non artist. <laughs> oh, we've got our title from that. There we one. go. <laughs> <laughs> what I really liked from the interviews, I, you know, realizing that it wasn't just a one way connection, I think the connection was made yes. both ways. And, uh, and then uh, both artists and storyteller learn about each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, it would be uh, funny to come up with something <laughs> from the non-artist. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny a laugh. <laughs> I think I'm regretting suggesting it now. <laughs> I think I'd rather go back to the poem. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Rap. Rap. <laughs> yeah, Daniel is suggesting what if the storyteller did the art next year? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think if, we, if we resort to the stick figures, then uh, <laughs> we might be. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a challenge. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just love. Mm hmm. Yeah. Any other thoughts? Um, anybody would like to add anything? 
Well, I'm going to be in touch with my artist because I'm sitting in the dark here and I know that I've got lots more to look at. So <laughs> I'll be in touch, <laughs> Adia. <laughs> okay. okay, Estelle, no problem. We'll set it up. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you, everyone, for participating, um, joining, sharing this evening um, with us and, and just being so open. And I really loved what... Um, um what uh i think in one of the interviews simon said um uh she's always amazed she f how people how beautiful people are and i think Aww. this is really, this really comes comes through yeah mm -hmm. thank you thank you everyone sure. thank, thank you, you sasha thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you everybody yeah. thank, you. thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll thank see you, you for soon. Skinner diversity. Yeah, yeah, thank, you. Thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Anna. <laughs> thank Good you. to see everybody. All right. Thank, thank you, you so much. All. Thank we'll you. see you all soon. Stay tuned yeah. for upcoming events. <laughs> Sending love and, love and hugs. Love, love and, and hugs. hugs. There we go. Love and hugs. Love and hugs. Oh, thank you, oh, Sasha. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Bye. 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 Beautiful night. Bye. 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 Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you so Bye. much. <laughs> Who's going to put the chairs away? <laughs> <laughs> Clean it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Turn the coffee off. Make sure the lights are out. <laughs>